United Parcel Worker Unions are preparing to strike, and it could cost the economy billions of dollars, potentially one of the costliest strikes in a century. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. David is off. Package delivery workers are planning to hit the picket lines August 1st if a deal is not approved when their contract expires. But UPS workers aren't the only ones preparing to go on strike this year. Hollywood actors and writers are already picketing, and industry experts believe a strike is around the corner for auto workers. News 10's Amaya Kuznicki is live in the newsroom to tell us how these labor disruptions will affect our economy. Amaya? Yeah, and research shows that threatened strike by 340,000 members of the Teamsters Union will cause lost wages for workers, lost earnings to UPS, and disrupt people's shipping packages across the country. A public policy expert I spoke with today says striking has both challenges and opportunities for both sides. It's just a very unfortunate scenario anytime there's um, a major stoppage of work due to contract negotiations. Tyler Thiel with Anderson Economic Group says the economy has been tight and tensions have been high for certain industries since the pandemic hit in 2020. In a lot of ways, we're recovering. Um, in other ways, we're not recovering. Leading to strikes across the country, workers from United Auto Workers, the Teamsters Union, and the Actors and Writers Unions in Hollywood are either preparing to strike or already out on the picket lines. They're fighting for better pay, better wages, and other workplace issues. You know, whether you're a, a union worker or you're in a role that is not unionized, I think either way it plays a very important um, part in our economy. We are in one of the tightest labor markets that we've seen really in the last 30 years. Unions feel they are in a fairly good negotiating position. Michigan State supply chain management expert Jason Miller says we're coming off the highest inflation in 40 years, which is why unions are fighting to increase worker pay. And making up for any real income that may have been lost over the past two years. Obviously, the hope is that they can come to an agreement before their deadline. All sides are hoping they can avoid disruption that has potential of hurting workers and their companies. Workers who go on strike won't be getting a paycheck. However, unions will likely step in to provide strike pay, money to help pay bills while they're out on the picket lines. Live in the newsroom, Amaya Kuznicki, News 10. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, last year there were 23 major strikes and lockouts, putting more than 120,000 people out of work.